First at 5.30 tonight, today marks the third anniversary of an unsolved murder in Warwick, but police are hopeful they can still crack the case. Today, police announced they have DNA from the man who they believe killed Jack Fay in City Park back in 2013, and the announcement comes just a day after they released a composite sketch of a possible suspect. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now with the new details. Yeah, Warwick police today shed new light on the investigation and the new tools that they're using to try to solve the three-year-old murder. Three years since John Fay, or Jack as he went by, was murdered in Warwick City Park. There's been candlelight vigils, flowers, a donated bench in his honor, but his killer remains unknown. We're here today to talk about the Jack Fay homicide. Warwick police held a news conference on the anniversary of when Fay was bludgeoned to death and found in a barrel. Police saying they have blood and tissue from the man they believe attacked Fay. The fact that it came from blood left at the crime scene, does that tell you there was a struggle of some kind? We believe there was a struggle. So he fought back. We believe so. The DNA came back with no matches, but it was analyzed by a lab to give some helpful clues about hair and eye color and ancestry facial structure. You know, now 90% of the people walking down the street really don't match that profile. And now the investigator can focus in on who's most likely to match that DNA. Investigators test the DNA nationally every Tuesday to see if there's a new match. And a change in state law last year might provide more insight. Legislators voted to make those arrested for violent crimes enter the DNA database, convicted or not. So if the owner of that DNA is arrested for a violent crime in Rhode Island, Jack Fay's killer could be found. This could be one of those cases where all of a sudden, five years from now, you guys get a call one day and your case has been solved. Absolutely. After media reports like ours last night on the new DNA analysis, Warwick authorities say they received at least 30 new tips and the phone has been ringing off the hook. If you have anything that you think can help, we've posted on our website the best ways to send a tip to detectives. It's WPRI.com. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.